Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Jen catching you on DTWJ. Hope you're all having a great day. And uh, I wanted to participate in a tag that I found on this channel, Eva's House of Spirit. And uh, I was watching this and, uh, well, I kind of figured that it's been so many years since I've worn makeup regularly, you know. Um, about the only time that I wear makeup, uh, to be totally honest with you guys, is if I go out somewhere and that barely happens. You know, because like the last thing that I want to spend my harder money on, you know, is a night out wasted, something, you know, a night out basically wasted, not as in drinking wasted, that I probably won't enjoy, you know, because it seems to me that nowadays when anybody goes out, there's always some kind of drama and I just do not want to deal with it. <laughs> okay? I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to, you know, do my best to lead a good life. And because uh, of that, I've changed a few things about myself and the way that I live my life. Um, you know, if I'm going to have a couple, I'll stay here at home. I'll invite somebody over. We could just chill out in my backyard. I'll do a barbecue, whatever. So it's all good with me. Now, this tag, I'm sorry if I can, is entitled the Show Me Your Face Tag. And yeah, I actually think it's fun, so what the heck, I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, um, the vlogger from Eva's House of Spirit, Eva, um, says, you know, this is a great way to show, you know, your face, your naked face, which I do all the time when I'm vlogging anyway, um, and then put on your face. Now, I just find that concept very strange when you quote it, because some people think that, you know, well, actually, most people think that when women wear makeup, uh, we do so to cover ourselves or mask ourselves, and that's far from the truth. Um, at least in my situation anyway. I actually like wearing makeup to express you know, um, something that is inside of me in the moment, you know, instead of doing it, um, through like an outfit, you know, the way that I dress or whatever, which changes up a lot, a lot. I'm a crab. I mean, it changes up a lot. It's crazy. It, it's enough to make people guess for ages. Um, but it's all good. <laughs> it's still a part of me that I'm expressing. So no, uh, I really don't believe in masking myself. I believe in expressing myself, and I think it's, I think it's freaking awesome. And yeah, to be totally honest, it's fun. It really is. It's fun to put makeup on. I don't do it all the time for the purposes that you know, uh, it's not exactly always good for your skin. Okay, I mean, yeah, you can get like products made by like say Neutrogena that are like really up in price, and they say. Okay, they put a mask on their claim, so to speak, that, um, you know, it's all natural, it's good for your skin, blah, 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 yada, 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 bull crap. So my... <laughs> you know what I mean? Not all the time. So why pay the dime? Bam! Just rhymed. Woo! How you doing? Uh, so yeah, you know what? I feel like doing this. Um, normally, I don't do stuff like this, but, you know, lately I've been in the mood to um, respond, you know, to videos and things like that, just for, you know, kicks for the heck of it. Why not? Um, the first thing that I would like to start with is the Wet n' Wild coverall. This is what it looks like right now. Um, it's a pressed powder. Yeah. You know, normally I, I'm 33 years of age. So since I turned 24, I had those crow's feet that are right here. You know, when I smile, really see them or if I squint like this I can't see you but you can see this <laughs> and uh you know the smile lines and all that oh and by the way don't let the color of my hair fool you guys I have that peach fuzz I do I have it right here and all right here and I will tell you something guys if I ever 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 in my life went for wax treatments you would see mountain chops by now it is awful okay <laughs> ladies especially young ladies I recommend that you don't ever 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 get those treatments what I recommend though is getting a pressed powder especially when you are at a young age and I will show you how that helps by 
starting to put on my face. <laughs> I'm going to start with this, my pressed powder. And right here, I'm basically keeping my makeup bag on my lap so it doesn't fall everywhere. Good grief, dude. Um, I have, like, no place to put it. Um, hang on, I'm sorry. I'm getting it together, honey. Mm -hmm. All right, let me do her. Let me do it. All right, see, it opens up like this, and you have, like, one of those, um, I don't know, little squeegee thingies. I like to call it a squeegee thingy. It's so cute. I love it. It's, like, the same material that makeup wedges are made of. You know, instead of applying foundation, liquid foundation, with your hands and dirtying up your hands, you put it on a little squeegee, and you just, you know, blend it right into your face. Um... See, I don't use liquid foundation anymore because I found that even when I was at a young age um, and I didn't have the wrinkle thing, <laughs> which it has a tendency of setting into, um, I found that when I put that stuff on, it felt heavy. It didn't matter if it was in the middle of winter. It felt like, like a big bag over my face. <laughs> It did. I could not stop sweating. And nobody could tell I was sweating because it wouldn't go through the makeup, thank goodness. But the makeup was actually the reason I was sweating so much. So anyway, let me start out real basic for the peach fuzzies out there. Okay, guys? Check it out. You just brush your little squeegee along this. I'm going to keep calling it that, too. Go ahead, laugh. That's right. I'm doing this, okay, so that it's right on the tip. Right on the tip. Yes. Yes, I recommend that when you have peach fuzz, that you actually go from the middle out, right from the third eye chakra, out, 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 out. And it'll make your peach fuzz look so much more noticeable under light. This is why you do one of these. Okay, you actually go in a downward motion like this, and it tames the peach fuzz. It actually makes the peach fuzz stay down. Believe it or not, ladies, not mineral powder, but pressed powder will do this. It will actually ensure that your peach fuzz is not visible. Most awesome. Another reason why I like uh, the pressed powder is because my eyelids tend to sweat a lot. They're very oily, so what I like to do is just go over those like this. Yeah, I don't exactly do the uh, T-zone method, which usually means that you put a little dab of foundation here, 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 and here. I used to do that when I wore it all the time, but like I said, it's very heavy on the face, makes you sweat. Um, not always good for your skin if you wear it on a daily basis, so I don't really recommend it, but that's just my opinion because that's how my skin reacts. It's very oily. Um, I do the same thing with my nose. I just go in a downward motion like this right here. Downward motion because we do have peach fuzz now, ladies. And we don't need that peeking up when the sun, you know, catches our prolific view and BAM! People could just see it like, you haven't waxed. I never do. <laughs> Because if I did, forget it, like I said. Ugh, I'd be Grizzly Adams over here. And that's not good. Can't have that. Go out in the cheeks, and when you go out in the cheeks, it's a semi-circular motion, and downward. Same thing. And what's good is that it actually preps your cheeks for when you apply blush. That's if you wear it. I personally don't, because my, nat uh, my natural complexion is rosy. So, yeah, if I'm not, like, altogether pale, I'm just a little bit rosy. Let me take these off. I'm so sorry, because the camera picks up the audio, not the headset. Yeah, my hair is a mess. I always have it up. I never have makeup on. So that's what happens when you're a woman in your 30s. You just stop giving them. And you just do it this way. Downward motion. You apply it lightly, too. You don't put very much product on your squeegee. Yes, I called it that. <laughs> and you just keep going like that. Very little. Next side. Just like this. Downward motion. 
The downward motion actually tames the peach fuzz that's on your face. This way it doesn't show. And if you like, cover your chin like this. Cover your chin and let's begin. Da, 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 da. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I am quite goofy about it. And of course, you know, you can cover this area here and get up on your neck. I always use very, very, very little product as possible because I would like the feeling of lightness and airiness. I would like my skin to breathe. Okay? Definitely. Especially when you reach uh, your 30s, uh, when you celebrate your milestone. It is not the end of your life. It is the beginning. Stop it. Don't complain. You need to go light on the makeup. Okay? Because it's not good for your skin. And if you think that you have got wrinkles, honey, about five years from now, if you wear that stuff and cake it on every single day, you're going to see a major difference. Not in a good way. Mm hmm Yes. I said it. Okay. The next thing that I'd like to do, let's see, is since I'm going for a more natural look, okay, I'm going to pick natural colors. If I can. I just got to set this up on my keyboard this way. Nothing falls. I have, like, no room on my desk. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, do, 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 Scalpel. <sighs> anyway. Yes. I'm trying to find it. Ah. Uh, mm hmm Beautiful. Yes. Don't worry, I'll tell you the products that I have. Relax. It's okay. I'm just getting her together. It's all right. Ooh, yes. A very good comparison that I can make. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm. That can work. Very good. So, okay, I think I'm done picking up my stuff now. Already then. Yeah. Um, one thing that I would like to start with is my eyes. Now, I don't ever do my brows. I know that, you know, some people are, like, mad obsessed, you know, with shaping their brows and all that sort of nonsense. And as you see, I have very light hair, so it, like, kind of doesn't show... Or, like, from a distance a bit, if you look at it close, it looks like there's a little bit here and the rest of it here. So it looks like I kind of shaved a part of it when I haven't. It just naturally looks like that. I have very light hair. Um, so that's what I'm working with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is talk about my whites. Yes. Uh, these are basically eyeshadows, and uh, the first one I have is made by Jordana. I'm not quite sure if you can pick that up. The camera is just a bit off and all kinds of blurry and stuff and nonsense. Don't bother grabbing your glasses. <laughs> Stupid thing, right? Oh, goodness. But open it up, okay? And you have got a bit of a sheen to it. It has kind of like an iridescent blue uh, baked right into it, which is really cool if you want to, you know, go for kind of like uh, something that catches the sunlight, not the peach fuzz, the eyeshadow, okay? Yes. And I also have here the more expensive version by Sephora, which is a matte white. Not sure if the camera picks it up, but yeah, totally. That's a matte white. I mean, that looks like primer. Not the makeup primer. I'm talking about if you're doing interior painting, it looks like primer. Yeah. <laughs> Such a crazy. Um, so I'm going to stick with this right here because I'm not really doing anything that big. Go with the cheaper brand, though, because, like I said, it has that iridescent touch. It has, like, that little hint of uh, blue in there, and it's really beautiful. And like I said, it catches the sunlight or the light from lamp posts and uh, at night or whatever. And, um, yeah, that's how it works, babe. I don't bother using, and I will get product on my hand, and I don't care, even though I said what I did earlier. No, I'm not a hater. Um, I don't use applications. They always expire. And the, the, the makeup, okay, collected in them, collects a lot of bacteria. So I prefer to use my hands. 
Yeah, I know, crazy, right? So I just roll that around in there, like so. A little dab will do her. And because I have very big eyelids, it will actually work. I start from the center, go in, and I dot it. Yeah, that's like the best approach is to dot it and then blend as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a bit weird doing this on camera versus uh, um, looking in the mirror, but I think I have this figured out. Wing it out a bit for that smoky eye effect. I know, crazy, right? And it looks a little bit darker here now because it's creasing up into the socket. So you just do one of these. You just paint a happy little tree over there. Yeah. As long as you can go with the flow, take what appears to be a mistake and actually make it into something else, then you're okay. Improvision is always key. Remember, this is a this is a type of art form. It's not necessarily, you know, painting, but it is a a type of art form. That's why I really love makeup is that not only do you express yourself by wearing it, but it's a way to just kind of, you know, play around a little bit and get a certain type of look. And I lo I know that it looks funny right now at first into the socket again. Mhm. Mm I know it looks funny at first, but uh, mm -hmm. that doesn't work. Oh wait, that's my brow. <laughs> I'm like, derp! Just trying to look into this like, yeah, you know what, it is awkward trying to do this from the screen. Like I say, you just dot it a wee bit here, here, and here. Mostly in the middle toward like the inside. Okay, let me take the other finger and just kind of brush it out a little bit if I can. Oh yeah. Always apply with the opposite hand or opposite finger. That looks really cool actually on this side. That, that looks awesome. Not too shabby. I kind of do a cavewoman style so to speak. I'm a little bit of a quote-unquote barbarian, as far as that goes. It's because I'm a very simple woman. I've always been. I don't really require much in order to accomplish something. You just kind of wing it out. Get sloppy with it. Ah, oh, not bad. Because you can also go over it with this. That's what corrects it. You blend it in. So I got that going on. Cool. Still looks a bit of mess, but whatever. It's always fixable. See? Ah, fixed it. That's the key. You have to blend. All you need to do, you can even bring it up a little bit like that. Helps to blend it better. And it looks funny at the moment. I agree. It does. It looks really odd, but you just work with it. You know, bring it out, wing it out. Bring it out and wing it out. Because you're not exactly like perfecting it with uh, an eyeliner, which is made by Wet n Wild, <laughs> um, that's okay. You don't need to. Eyeliner is very very difficult as far as that goes after a while. I think I'm almost covered. Just a little bit. Alright. Kind of winging out of there. Is it? Maybe. The right one looks better. In my opinion, it does. It just has that. It's like really cool. This one is like going up-ish. <laughs> it's a little bit uneven. I'll admit. <laughs> it's alright. Mm -hmm. Just putting in my face. Yeah, like I said, I really don't trust the applicators because they collect so much um, 
not dust. It's, they collect so many particles. And uh, what do you call it? Pathogens of bacteria that are not very healthy. I'm going to try to bring it upward a bit to match the other. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, horrificness. Woo! Yeah, I screwed that up good. This one looks awesome. Um, if you ever make a mistake. <laughs> Dude, I'm totally laughing at myself. It's hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Stuff happens. Do one of these. I'm just kind of clean it up. Get rid of it. Wow, dude. <laughs> that is insanity. If I have not seen it. <laughs> just take it right off. <laughs> you guys are gonna <laughs> I know you're laughing at me and that's fine I don't care um, I'm hoping that did not went up and go up into my brow because it's not supposed to try up a little okay not bad not bad not bad not enough on this side though to be totally honest you're gonna call me nuts and that's okay. I don't care. It's all fun. That's why. This one right here that I screwed up putting on is made by uh, Jane. And then they call it Ising. Very cute. I'm Ising. <laughs> With all that goofiness going on, I know. Why would I do that one? A little extra, a little extra, a little extra love. Hmm. Now they match. About time. Very good. See, it takes a little bit when you don't use an applicator, but that's okay. I prefer to be clean. I like things that are natural. Even the process. The process being natural. Beautiful thing. Love it. So. With that being said, I'm going to take my Sephora matte white and I'm going to apply that. Just do the same. But you're going to need a lot more because you're going to go under the brow. This gives your eye a little bit of drama and it also emphasizes the brow. Beautiful. Not bad. It's kind of Keep applying it. Blend it in. Not too bad. Not perfect, but not too bad. Go from the inside out. Continue to blend. Right into that little wing that you made for the smoky eye effect. And there you go. Not bad. Next eye. Opposite hand. Okay. Go, always go with the opposite hand <clears throat> when you're applying. Start from the inside up to the brow. Blend out like so. Very good. Not bad. I like the left one. It's pretty. How you doing? I know that's your right. It's okay. I just bring that out again. Keep blending it. Blend it right into the wing for that smoky eye effect that I tried to do and uh, made you laugh with. Right, I did that. Still have that going on. Right, okay. I see that that wing is a little bit more prominent than this one. So I'm going to go ahead and blend again. And you can use as much as you absolutely need to to blend the colors so that both sides match. That's what you're looking for. You don't want the one to be more exaggerated than the other or it's going to look very silly. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. No, you don't want to look silly. That's not good. Mm -hmm. It's going to continue to blend, blend, blend. Oh, yes. I'm crazy. I know. I do things by hand, literally. It's awesome. But, did it not work? Ugh. Love going natural. It's awesome. Um, so, okay. Now, I know this is taking forever, right? It's awesome. Going on 26 minutes, just about. Blend that more, right? Pardon, because the inside's looking a bit goofy. All right, now I have here, uh, <laughs> the unidentifiable. Can you identify this product? Can you? Can you? It is Maybelline mascara. I'll assume black. Says nothing. <laughs> Says nothing. This is actually the waterproof type, which is super awesome. And it gives more of an effect to the eye, which is really cool. Just go ahead and apply that. Yeah, if ever you have trouble applying makeup while the camera is on and you don't have a mirror, just go really freaking close to the camera so you can see. And you'll be just fine. Another tip, if you want to curl your lashes with no problem, you just brush up halfway, hold it for about a few seconds, and bam. Done. I know it's hard to tell, but I can feel the difference. I'm like, yes, thank you. Oh, yay. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, looking at that, and I gotta correct it. I will, though. Just give me one second to finish. Yeah, I always hold it up for like a couple of seconds. Ah. Uh, and curls it for me while I'm applying the mascara and it looks good. Okay, I know it relatively looks the same with the camera because maybe the camera's not picking it up, but that's okay. <laughs> Aren't I goofy? I know. Oh gosh. Okay, with the matte color, really, again. Again, again, again. Because that is a little bit too dark. It's not blended evenly like the other side. It is tougher doing this without a mirror. Really, it is. But that's okay. Not a problem. <laughs> I'm working with what I got, all right? <laughs> I am. And uh, I like to um, emphasize my lips. I do. I, I really do. I love emphasizing my lips. So. As a primer, so to speak, a primer, what I like to do is take some Aquaphor or uh, Vaseline or any type of, you know, chapstick or whatever. Put a bit of that on your lips because what I'm about to use is going to make your lips dry otherwise. So you want to do that. Make sure that your lips are nice and moisturized. It's very important before you apply even lipstick, especially lipstick that lasts over eight hours, like uh, Revlon. That stuff is amazing. Hmm. You want to have that. So, I'm actually going to start with the liner. Instead of using it for my eyes, I'm going to use it for my lips. I would go in the eye, but I'm a little scared. <laughs> And uh, I try to stay away from, you know, the eyeliner because of the allergy issue, which is usually why I don't wear eye makeup at all, really. I don't know. Let me know. How did that come out? Is it okay? Does it suck? Whatever. Don't be a hater about it, though. Just let me know. All right, so I'm going to start here from the middle. Like that. I just kind of do the tip and smile, tip and smile, get it up. Because you don't want that awkward line stopping right here when you open your mouth. And you see, 
like the, the dead end, the deadline, you don't want that. You don't want the deadline. It looks awful. You want that to blend into your lip. And with the top, you want to start from the middle. Wait a minute. Let me fix that. Sorry. See that? That awkward deadline? Not the kind of deadline that you want to make. No good. All right, now from here, you got to start from the middle again. <clears throat> Pardon. Start from the middle and go out with the natural shape of your lip. Do not go over your lip or try to make your look, lip look bigger than it really is. Not good. Does not look good at all. Start here. Just kind of draw it in like that. And you just want to glide with it with ease. And to do that, you have to know the shape of your lips. It's very important. Like that. And like that. That's not the finished product. Do not get me wrong, okay? I am not a ghetto lady. Relax yourself. We have here our ooh la lipstick. Yeah. Yes, we do. This is actually made by Wet n Wild again. And what is the name of the color? <clears throat> ha! Arrest me copper. Oh my god. Because it's copper. Arrest me copper. Oh yeah. I like me some jokes. That's awesome. And it's so funny that I do this. Arrest me copper. Well, copper is about to arrest me because this does not look right you. All of you watching me, this does not look right. You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me, bitches. Yeah, you don't want to look like that. It's awesome. I mean, it's awesome. It's awful. So arrest me, copper. It's awful. Ooh, makeup police. Come on in. Now what you want to do is you want to work with your liner. And again, just like with the eyeshadow, you want to blend. Okay? That's the whole point. I just want to kind of take the liner, blend it down and in, down and in, like a down and inward type of motion. Okay. Yes, ladies, if you're going to line your lips, please don't make the makeup police come on in. Do not ask, call me copper. Uh, what is it? Arrest me, copper, because they will. <laughs> anyway, and with the bottom, real simple. You just swoop, just like I did with the um, the liner. I just swooped. And with this, you have to go down. <laughs> That's what she said. Like that, right? And that's working for me, babe, just by itself. blend. Always blend, okay? And if there's like a pronounced line, you can either keep it pronounced to complement the lipstick, or you can blend it even further just by taking your finger and doing it. Okay? Other side. Voila. Ooh la la lipstick. How you doing? And just to make sure that that baby stays, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and give it a nice little blot. A couple of times. And if you don't have as much color because you've blotted, take the liner again. Because the liner should always complement the color of the lipstick. This way, when you add more after blotting, it won't compromise your look. Yes, this, the swatch needs to be compatible.
Mm hmm Ah, oh, give that baby a nice little blend. It's like painting. Again, you can even treat a wall like a canvas and actually blend colors and you get a nice faux finish. I love doing it. I just do one of those. And that is my swatch. I think it looks fantastic. And yes, if ever you do blend and you notice that a little bit of color ends up here in your little cleft right here, just take your pinky, do one of these real quick down the middle, and you're good. And you're good to go, ladies. Know it. And to finish my look, I'm going to do what I don't do very often, which is take my hair down. I always have it up. It's kind of obvious. I have it up in just about every video that I shoot because it's a mess. It is a royal mess. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sorry. To finish this look, I'm going to go ahead and let my hair down. I know that this has been a long video, my ladies, and I'm so sorry, but this is how I get her done. This is how I roll, okay? This is what I do. So funny, arrest me, copper. That is so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh, it actually says that too. Arrest me, copper. Yes, tame that liner. <laughs> so yes, this is my finished look, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I would like to tag everybody, all of the ladies, okay? All the ladies, you know who you are. I am tagging you in this video, and uh, I'd like you to join me and put your face on. See you on the next one. This has been Jen, catching you on DTWJ. Keeping it real as always. Don't forget to subscribe, honey.